Look, I don't know how to tell you this, but 2014 was like a really cool year. Supernatural Tumblr became a thing. YouTube Rewind consisted mainly of YouTubers of all sizes, not just celebrities and popular people. Pharrell Williams is happy and Frozen's Let It Go was everywhere. Oh God. But I want to talk about a game that dropped in August of 2014. It was maybe a little small, but it was called Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's, or FNAF, was a horror game from 2014 with a similar premise at the time. Survive your night guard shift from midnight to 6am as four now iconic animatronics try to kill you by stuffing you in animatronic suits. Premise wise, simple, en simple enough, very effective. Gameplay wise, very simple, but deceptive. You had items at your disposal. A camera iPad to keep track of the locations of the four animatronics, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. The other two items are lights and two doors to your office. The doors can be closed and the lights illuminate the dark halls outside the door to reveal if an animatronic is staring you down. The game relies on a gameplay loop. Gather information on what's going on, that be using the cameras, lights, and noises. Then, if required, you take action by closing doors and then waiting it out until gathering information again and repeat till 6am. Got it? Sounds simple. The animatronics all have different AI. Bonnie and Chica slowly make their way to the doors. Freddy follows this, but can't be seen in the light of the hall outside the door. He comes in from the right side. Keep that in mind for later. Foxy is the most unique in the game where you must watch his camera to keep him from coming. Leave him for long enough and he runs from Pirate's Cove and you have a few seconds to close the left door before he slides into your DMs. Wait, no, that's the wrong phrase. That's a lot of information. Where are you getting to? One of the first strategies the community found was this. Close the right door. Check Pirate's Cove on cams only. Open the door. Check lights. Repeat. Interesting. By the way, um, keep tabs on that power bar the whole time. You only get that, and once out, Freddy kills you unless the clock strikes 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said it was very simple but deceptive. FNAF at the time also had the most simplest story out of all the games, with enough details to get the point across. First we have the Bite, the bite of 87. 87! Someone got bitten by one of the animatronics in 1987. In the hall on your right, on the cams, rule poster will change to one of four newspaper clippings that tell you about horrific murders. Someone who worked at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria would lure kids into the back and kill the kids then stuffing them into the animatronic suits. People would say the characters oozed blood and mucus and had a foul odor, because what they didn't know was that the bodies of children were decaying inside the animatronics as they looked. Huh? What the fuck, Scott? That's an interesting story. So it seems like these guys aren't actually killing you because you look like a naked endoskeleton. So what happened to the original FNAF game? Although it's old, almost 10 years old to be exact, it's still played, it's just not talked about as much. When I searched Five Nights at Freddy's on YouTube, I got videos from years ago, or current news, like Scott's retirement from FNAF, and the stuff on Security Breach. Granted, this was about a month, two months ago that I searched this. This game had a huge impact on the community and the Let's Play space. Everyone wanted to play it. Hell, even I played it for two videos, but it wouldn't be long for the community to get the next one, because a little after the success of FNAF, the grand reopening is coming. So obviously, you must remember FNAF, it is everywhere, it was very viral. Did you guys end up playing it or buying it? If so, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see me actually play it, you can actually. I've only played two nights of it in the first game, but I do have videos of it linked in the description below. But until the next video, I'll see you in the future. Bye, guys. Oh shit. I need a mask for this one.